today is a very special day because we are going to be decorating our home for Christmas. I'm so excited to make our home super cozy and festive for the holiday season and hopefully give you some inspiration and get you into the festive spirit. I know the holidays can come with its own stressors, but hopefully we can use this as motivation to just romanticize the season that it is and fully enjoy the things that come along with it. You totally don't have to go all out decorating your home to enjoy the holidays. You can literally just make a cup of hot chocolate if you want. It's truly about the little things and what make you happy. And for me, I just love decorating our home. So I'm so excited to spend the day with you all. We are starting just like a little bit later than what I had anticipated, which is totally okay. We will probably just end up decorating into the evening, which will just enhance all of our Christmas lights. So I'm completely ready with my Christmas sweater. I wear my Rudolph sweater every single year when decorating. I think I got this Oh my gosh, probably back in high school and <laughs> I'm 25 now. It's been with me for a few Christmases, but I love it so much. And I have my Christmas socks on ready to go. Before we start decorating any rooms, I would love to go ahead and just put up the Christmas tree. I feel like it's just such a centerpiece to our holiday decor. So I would just like to go ahead and get that done and have it up so that it can start feeling cozy. I feel like it just would get us in the spirit even more. So we're gonna tackle that very first thing. Ours is from Hobby Lobby. I will link it down below if you are looking for a really nice tree. It's a seven and a half foot flocked tree and it has little pine cones in it and it is just really, really beautiful. It's pre-lit, which is so nice. So go ahead and get on your favorite cozy Christmas sweater, grab your favorite blanket and a hot cup of hot chocolate or coffee or tea or whatever your heart is feeling and let's just get cozy and decorate for Christmas together. I love putting on a Christmas movie while we decorate the tree and everything else, so I really wanna put on Elf this year. Usually I do the Santa Claus, but I figured we could do something just a little bit different. This is by far one of my favorite Christmas movies. Will Ferrell's one of my favorite actors. This is such a classic. Uh, there are only three jobs available. <laughs> the tree came together. I absolutely love it. There's just something so classy about the gold and the white and the green. It reminds me of if you go into like a wintry snowy forest and you chop down your own Christmas tree and you bring it inside and it's still covered in snow. That's the vibe I'm getting from this tree and I love it, especially with the little pine cones that are peeking through in different spots. It's a beautiful, beautiful tree. And to make it even more realistic, we found this little rubber piece thing. There's Maddie. She loves sitting under this thing. That little tree bark situation here. So it is Velcro on the other side and it wraps around the base of your tree. So instead of that ugly metal stand peeking out from under your tree showing that it's fake, you can make it look even more realistic by adding that bark texture. And on the other side, it is reversible. It's like a candy cane pattern, but I prefer the bark. And from a distance, it looks legit. Like if you don't look too closely, it looks like a real bark of a tree. And also we added these scent sickles, which I showed in my shop with me. Um, if you can see it hanging right here. Basically, they make different scents, and this one is a fur, I think it's like a winter fur scent. It smells just like a real Christmas tree, and it's really strong. Like, I can smell it when we walk into the room immediately. It came in a pack of six, but we only put three or four in here, but I um, can link those, and also the little tree bark Velcro thing. I don't know what it's called, but I can link that as well in the description if you have a fake tree and you just wanna make it a little bit more realistic. But yeah, I think that this year, yeah, I'm just gonna say it. This is my favorite Christmas tree ever, and it makes it even better with my Harry Potter ornament that I found at Target. It has the original cover art on all of these books, and it's so accurate, even though it's so small. And there's a little wand here. It just looks so good in the tree. And then also, here's Cooper's ornament. He picked out this polar bear one, and I think it just goes with this tree so well. I love that it has pine cones on it too kind of blends in with the other pine cones throughout the tree. Now that the tree is done, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the couch so we can go ahead and get the rest of the living room looking cozy and Christmassy.
fact, I've had this cute little gingerbread girl since I was probably like seven or eight years old. I used to smell like gingerbread and it still kind of does a little bit, obviously not like it did, but I think it's really cool to be able to still have it and incorporate it into our decor. I have a little boy one too, but I loved her green dress with this green blanket. I think it worked really well. And again, I just really wanted to incorporate a lot of like gingerbread decor because I love gingerbread men. They're just so cute. <laughs> Now it's time to hang up our stockings. So if you've been following my channel for a while, you'll know that we get a mini stocking for each of our cats. So I love to hang them on this console table since we don't have like a mantle or anything. I actually just use tape. <laughs> Luckily, I haven't ripped off the paint or anything. I did it last year and it seemed to work okay. So we need to get those hung this year, but I have a K for Katie. T for Tums. Let's see, and then I had a chinchilla. She did pass away a couple years ago, but we love to put her stocking up anyway. So this is for Luna, our newest addition, Freya. And then of course, the ever so sassy Maddie, which I'm sure you've seen many times in my videos. But let's go ahead and get their stockings hung so that they can get ready for Santa Paws this year and get all of their toys and all of their cans and churus. <laughs> living room is complete. I am very, very pleased with the way that it all came together. It's super cozy and the tree I feel like is just, again, I know it's a little big for our space, but I feel like it truly makes it feel that much cozier. So now that we have pretty much wrapped up the living room, we're going to go ahead and move into the kitchen. First things first in the kitchen is doing this garland. So I got this garland from Michael's and it has little holly berries on it. And I really want to take it and line it all the way under our cabinets here and on the other side just to give it a very elevated festive cozy feel i did that with fall leaves for the autumn time and i loved it so we're gonna see if we can recreate that same kind of vibe for christmas so obsessed with how this sign looks here. I was really hoping that it would stay. That command hook is holding up really well, so I'm very, very happy with how that came out. The garland took me some time, but we've eventually figured it out. I got a little system going. I would take like a clump of the leaves and tape them, and it seemed to work. Hopefully there won't be little random parts falling off, but whatever. If it does, I'll just retape it. No big deal. I did a hot cocoa station in this little area here last year. Again, I really loved how it came out and I got a couple other things this year. You probably saw these in my shop with me, but I really want to spice it up. I want to do something similar, but just a little bit better. I don't know. We'll see what we can come up with, but I would love to have that same idea just elevate it a little bit. I'm going for like cozy Mrs. Claus Christmas, which I think that sign is totally giving and I'm loving it.
This is by far one of my favorite parts of the kitchen. I just love this space so, so much. It's so incredibly cozy and Christmassy. I love that you can just like make your little hot chocolate next to a cozy Christmas tree. It's a vibe, guys. It's a vibe. piece of the kitchen and that is this little white truck if you saw my fall decorate with me we filled up the back with cute little pumpkins but I really want to transform it into Christmas so we got this about two or three years ago from Hobby Lobby they have some that are very similar they're not this exact truck but they have like a red one and a white one to make this one very Christmassy we're actually gonna put some wreaths on it and cover up the pumpkin patch sign and make it like a little Christmas tree farm truck we love this so much because it reminds us of the pumpkin patch patch that we go to because they turned the pumpkin patch into like this Christmas tree farm and it's just so cozy. It's very, very special to us. So we're going to go ahead and transform this really cute little truck from fall into Christmas. The kitchen is finally complete. Let's take a little overview just to see it all together. So we have our little truck here. I love that we can make this both for fall and Christmas. I did tie some ribbons on our bar stools here. They're not all symmetric, of course, but I think they're just so cute. It's just something different. I thought this would be such a cute touch and you can see it right whenever you walk in. But yeah, so back into the kitchen. Our truck. I love the way that the counters and shelves came out so, so much. This garland was kind of a pain to hang up, but I think it's so worth it. I think it just elevates the kitchen in a really, really cool way. But for the shelves, we put these light up houses up there. We got those tea lights from Amazon and they are so bright. They're the best tea lights I've found. I can link those in the description box as well. I love them. If you have any light up decor that uses tea lights, I definitely recommend getting those because they're super bright and they flicker just like a real candle and it ties into our counter here. So we have our mini tree, our little snowman, and I actually got these little Christmas tree plates from Bullseye's Playground. So I'm just gonna set them right here. Cause I think it's it's kind of cute, it's fitting. And then of course we have our cozy hot cocoa bar. And I love this gingerbread bakery sign. I found it at Hobby Lobby. I think it's just adorable. So I definitely wanted to tie that in to our gingerbread sign here and the one over here. I just really wanted to embody the gingerbread theme this year. And then of course for over here, there's more gingerbread men. Listen, I know, I know, I have a lot of Christmas mugs, okay? But this is like the only time of year I can truly display them and mugs just bring me so much joy. And a lot of these, my mom actually has a matching one too. So they're very sentimental to me. I just really wanted to take the opportunity to display them. I know it can be kind of a lot and it's not everyone's cup of tea to have mugs out, but I think that it's like a cozy clutter. That is the kitchen. I think it is so cozy and I'm obsessed with the way that it came out. I love this little light up tree 
here at night especially and with it being darker earlier I just want to make it cozy inside instead of it being so dark and depressing this is to all of my mug lovers if you have a lot of mugs don't let anybody judge you okay you display your mugs you be proud of your mugs and you enjoy your mugs the hot cocoa bar is pretty similar to last year but I love adding these little candy canes to it I think it just ties the mugs in even more with just the red accents that are on them I'm very pleased with the kitchen I know it's a lot and it's not for everybody but I'm just someone that likes to go completely out with decorations so that's exactly what I did. So now that we have checked off the kitchen and the living room off of our list, it is time to move into our bedroom. So there's two spots in our room that I'm a little curious as to how they're gonna come together because we didn't have them last year. And one is our two-person desk and the other is the reading corner. So we will see how we can style those. As far as our desk, I do have a print that I'm really excited to show you guys that I found on Etsy. It's beautiful. And I think as a little reward for finishing up our decorating, we can make a cup of hot cocoa and some cozy Christmas sugar cookies after we finish decorating our room. So let's go ahead and start with our two-person desk because I think that one is gonna be really cool once it comes together. so incredibly productive here. The coziness is unreal. Next up on the docket is this reading corner. I think I'm gonna go ahead and turn all these books around just to where you can see the pages. I know that's kind of weird, but honestly, all of these covers are just way too different colors that aren't gonna work with what I'm thinking of putting over here. So we're gonna go ahead and flip those around and deck out the bookshelf. I have some really fun snow fluff to make it look like it's sitting on a snowy ground. It's gonna look really, really cool. And then here, I have my curtain lights, obviously, and I have those two witch signs if you saw my fall decorate with me. So we'll definitely replace those, get the chair all cozy. The sun's going down, so I really would like to try to hurry so we can see all of the Christmas lights at nighttime. This is the last thing on our agenda, so let's go ahead and get it all put together.
quite the day decorating, so let's take a little overview and see how it all came together. What a day. That is a wrap on decorating for Christmas for this year. Now it is time to go cozy up in the reading corner with my hot cocoa and a really good book and just chill for the rest of the night and actually enjoy the decorations. This is one of my favorite videos to film every single year. So seriously, thank you so much for being here and for watching. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.